Let me tell you in the last couple of minutes of a, a theorem of mine with colleague Hal Kirstead, which I could prove to you in a week. I, I could not do it in class. And it goes like this. Chi equals 3 omega minus 2 for online interval graphs. So let me explain what this means. It means there is a strategy for coloring an interval graph online where if the largest clique built has size omega, the number of colors used will be no more than 3 omega minus 2. But it's exact in the sense that I don't care what algorithm you use, what supercomputer, what oracle, I have a simple strategy for building an interval graph that will force you to use at least 3 omega minus 2. So it's achievable, and it's best possible. Now, what's the practical significance of this? Let me give you two examples, one which is kind of silly and one which is serious. In Europe, people travel by train quite a bit. And you order a train ticket. And when you order the ticket, you get a seat. So you're getting on the train here, and you ride for 200 miles, and then you get off. Now, when you get off, somebody can have your seat. But in your seat, while you're on the train. So when you call up, do internet, what have you, and order a train ticket, somebody assigns you a seat. That is an online coloring of an interval graph. So if you want to assign seats on a train optimally where you don't know how many passengers are going to order, and you've got to assign them when they order their ticket, and they're doing it online, then our algorithm is the best that you can do to use the fewest number of seats. Now, if you could say to the world, please give me all your train reservations for Tuesday, September 22nd, then you could do it with omega seats. But last time I checked, I couldn't get two people to cooperate. And the idea that you're going to get all the passengers on a train to tell you at the same time that they want to travel, that's uh, pie in the sky. So our 3 omega minus 2 result is actually uh, used quite practically. Also, there is the notion of dynamic storage. So when you run a program, you have to create space for variables. And so you have to allocate a block of space for a variable. And while that variable exists, you must not use that space for any other variable. But after the variable has been released, you free the space and reallocate it. And with a little twist, that's online coloring. And our algorithm, modified just slightly, is in wide use in the dynamic allocation of space in computer programs in many different languages. So it's a, it's a very nice result. Again, I could prove that to you in a day, but I just simply want you to know about the existence. 
I'll see you on Thursday, and hopefully I'll have your test for you at that time.